God said to man, of every tree of the garden ye may freely eat. What did the serpent say to Eve? God said, ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden. But he, he put it in a question, so it kind of threw her. She, she did, it kind of threw her off. Wait a minute. Did he say we couldn't eat of the tree or we could eat of the tree or what did he say? What, 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 does, what did the, you know, somebody will come up to you and say something and you know a scripture. But they just add a little word or take a word away and it'll sound just like the verse. And then you start agreeing with them. But it's not right. It's not right. I said, wow, just that one little three-letter word, not. God didn't say not. He said, of every tree of the garden thou mayest freely eat. The serpent says, if you turn it around, of every tree of the garden thou shalt not freely eat. Did he say you shall not freely eat of every tree? All she had to say was, no, he didn't. Be on your way. No, he didn't. And that's all. Then she had to fix it. The Lord don't need us to fix his word. Before one jot or one tittle be removed, his word is forever established in heaven. We don't have to add to it. We don't have to take away from it. Leave it as is. We're going to talk about the attributes of Almighty God, the attributes of the God we serve. Because in order to serve him, you've got to know about him, right? I'm just going to share a little bit. I mean, not even the tip of the tip of the tip of the iceberg. He is omnipotent. He is om omnipresent. And he is omniscient. Omnipotent. I see you're looking at me strange. He is all-powerful. Omnipresent. He is everywhere at all times. And I thought about that. It's not like you have a giant standing and you got an arm over here, arm over here, leg over here, leg over here. But all of him is everywhere at the same time. Can you comprehend that? All of God, every part of him, is everywhere at all times. So being all-powerful, oh, an omniscient, he is all-knowing, past, present, and future, an all-knowing God. So somebody is watching you. Somebody is watching you. Omnipotent, Job said in 42 and 2, I know that thou canst do all things and that no purpose of thine can be restrained. Everything that God does, everything that he has done, and everything that he will do has a purpose and a reason behind it. He does nothing flippantly or just so happen to happen. It's circumstance. Everything that happens in our life has a purpose and a reason behind it. Everything that we do, before we jump and do, you better know what the purpose and reason is of why you're doing it. My children on the bus... Whenever they do something, I'm getting ready to start for another year, Jesus. Here we go again. They'll say something, and I'll look at them, and I'll say, for what reason? I, I don't know, Miss Shirley. You don't know? Then why did you do it? Whenever you do something, you have a reason for doing it. So do you want me to share your reason of why you did what you did? Give people something to think about. What does the enemy do? He'll put a thought in your mind, and if you don't weigh it with the word of God, it'll drop right out. It's like you have a hole from here, here. Everything just right out. And then there's regrets. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean that. I don't know why. I don't this and that. No. That's why in the, in the Bible, our basic instructions before leaving earth, everything that we have need of is right here. Everything that we need to instruct us, to guide us, is right here. When Randy went off, my son went off to college, 
I told him, you take your Bible and you read Proverbs. Read Proverbs. Proverbs is about wisdom. It gives you wisdom. Knowledge without wisdom doesn't benefit us too much. Knowledge, you can have knowledge, but if you don't know how to apply that knowledge, it doesn't really help you much. But if you have the knowledge and you have the wisdom to back it, you're, all pa you're powerful. You, you become very powerful. That's why in Proverbs it says, with knowledge, get understanding. So you know how to apply that knowledge. Wisdom is, is, is that, that's what we, we, you need that. You need that to make it in this world today. You've got to walk in the wisdom and knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. In Matthew 19, 26, Jesus, looking upon them, said to them, With men this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. And this is speaking in reference to that Jesus was talking to a young man, and he was wealthy. He was a wealthy young man. And, the, and he, he came up to, to Jesus, he says, what, what must I do to, to gain eternal life? Good master, good ruler. And, the, and Jesus said, there's only one that's good. Why are you calling me good? He said, I'll tell you what. Obey the commandments. And he said, well, which one? And he goes down the commandments of, of 